The first questions you have to ask yourself in order to know what's needed to open the mouth of a 3D character in Blender or ZBrush it's do you have a character? Does he have a mouth? So if he has mouth and it's a character, probably you can open its mouth. Why do, uh, should we open the mouth? So usually we're doing this for game or for cinematic so the character can talk or open its mouth, which is great. So we are doing this for the high poly model. So then it has to be made in low poly and you know, uh, retopologized. This you can see, of course, in my course, which is absolutely free here in this channel. In the playlist section, you can go to the playlists and then the playlist with 38 videos you can check out there. You can see uh, the whole making of a whole character in Blender for games. Next, we have to open the mouth. So in, over, in order to open the mouth, you need to have to, a head with mouth, of course. But if you don't have a head, you can check out my courses in the description of the video where I show how to make heads, how to make other things, whole characters, ZBrush, Blender, everything. But let's start. We have to go in Blender to Scope Mode. In ZBrush, you don't need to go to Scope Mode. Select the mask Masking Brush and start masking the lower because you have to start from the bottom, which is the lower jaw. Make sure you select everything, you mask everything, because if you leave some spots, when we start rotating this, because we are masking it and then we will invert the mask, so this will be the only unmasked thing of the whole head. And uh, make sure you mask everything. Sometimes... I leave, of course, without wanting to leave, I leave some spaces unmasked and when I start moving, for example, the last time I left a little bit of uh, thing here in the middle of the chin and he started to have a double chin and yeah, it was not needed. The idea is to open the mouth just a little bit, so we have to move the jaw a little bit down, like this, just a little bit. And then we will have open mouth. Of course, it's a good idea to also have some teeth. How to make teeth? Of course. You don't need to make the teeth completely like every and each tooth separately. If you want to be a perfectionist, yes, you have to do that. But if you kind of want to make just teeth, which would work, because they are, they are not seen too much, you can do them from one mesh. I did it from a, from a cylinder, this one, and from this one, I duplicated it and did, did the bottom one. So I have teeth. Of course, I, need, I will need a tongue. I will do it later. Probably the tongue is most likely very easy to make but yeah so this image is from cg trader i think so you can find all kinds of 3d models for teeth and tongue out there you can of course buy them or you can make your own uh, but i just use this as a reference it's not an issue nobody will sue me that i'm using this presentation image for the 3d model as a reference so we go here the idea is to make the mask uh the whole lower jaw with this bottom part here and here we need it to be smooth mask, relatively, but it's not a big issue if it's not super smooth, because we will then fix it. We will always have to go and fix things. So I will reverse the mask by pressing A and going left, and now we need to rotate. So we go to the rotate, and we can rotate from here, but the pivot of rotation, usually we want it to be a little bit closer to the jaw itself. Ideally, it will be here, in this point here. Just just uh, forward and uh, to the bottom of the ear but since we cannot quite do it here in blender it's difficult we can go and pivot to mask border then the pivot will come uh, around this area pivot to mask border you can find i think in sculpt pivot sculpt set pivot pivot to mask border or to unmask for example you can do it whatever so sculpt set pivot pivot to mask border, I'm using this, and I put it in my quick favorites, which is with Q. Okay, now what we do is open them out, so just slightly rotate, and you see I'm now moving the nose with it, which is not good. I will control Z, and I will go with the mask brush, and just, come on, mask brush, okay, and I go to the nose, and I see that I have, my mask here is not so strong, which is not good. It will move some things which I don't particularly like to move. Because we don't want to change the facial features at all. We just want to open them out and that's it. Because this model is for freelance. They allowed me to show it and this model is approved. They approve the face and I can open them out now. And But the face has to remain the same basically. It's just the mouth to be open. So I will go here again pivot to mask border and with the red 
circle, I will root. just do this. And I think this could be enough. This should be enough. And the jaw has to go a little bit backward, so I'll go with the move and move it a little bit backward. Because when we open our mouths, our jaw is not going only down, but it's going back down, like this. Because the pivot of rotation is here, it should go a little bit. So, now, what we should do is erase the mask. We don't need the mask anymore, so I will remove the mask by pressing A and going right. And then, I will just go ahead and move in. So, I'm, with the standard brush, with control, I'm just moving in the polygons. You can see that the polygons are very badly bad looking and we have to fix that, of course. But overall, this is how you do it. And now, I will remesh. If you are in ZBrush, of course, you will DynaMesh most likely. If you cannot DynaMesh, it's a problem. Especially, it's a problem when you are using um, already set mesh and you are just uh, working over an existing mesh who doesn't have open mouth, but have nice topology. And then you want an open mouth, and then you have, we will have a little bit of issues, but probably you can select uh, a row of polygons here in the middle, and then extrude them in, and then extrude them more and inflate them inside. Probably some something like this can be achieved. But if you are like me, and making everything from scratch with, I don't recommend exactly, because if you want to be fast in freelance, uh, you probably want to work more and more from from base meshes, but since I'm fast, you probably all know that I'm pretty fast uh, in creating some stuff, it's not a problem for me, so it's fine. Now, it, there are things that uh, needs finishing here, but I'm trying to just open them out first, leave, have everything correct, and then increase the poly count so everything will be smooth and make final changes at the end, because in Blender especially you don't have the options to have super huge amount of polygons. Uh, and with that, you want the polygons to be as low as possible up to the last possible time. Now, I will go and R, which is remesh, go to 0 0.004 and control R to remesh it. Let's see, now it's remeshed and now we can smooth the inner portions of the mouth. We can see, we cannot see, but I'm trying to see what's happening with this mouth and... Yeah, without the teeth and everything, but it doesn't matter. So, in the high poly, you don't need to actually make inside of the mouth. The inside of the mouth can be made in the low poly. Uh, the whole cavity inside can be made in the low poly. In the high poly, you, what you basically need is this transition between the upper lip and the lower lip and the inner portion of the mouth. And that's it. That's your what you need. But I will just finish it a little bit more in here just in case, just to see what happens. And you can see it's it's fine, you have to position your teeth correctly. Uh, usually, especially beginners will have difficulties making the right size of teeth. But of course, that's uh, you have to try it, you have to look at your own teeth. I always recommend that, but even I don't follow my recommendations usually. Although I have a mirror, and sometimes when I'm feeling very lost, I just look at the mirror and I um, look at myself, look at my teeth compared to my lips and uh, when I slightly open my mouth, how the teeth are, where they are. Uh, in You know, when I slightly open my mouth like this, I barely see my upper teeth, but I see my lower teeth. So yeah, that's what I'm doing here. Of course, this guy is an alien, his proportions of the face are a little bit off uh, from real ones. But at least we are trying to make him look humanoid. So that's what we are doing now. Let's see. Yeah, this mouth is slightly open. I will smooth again the corners a little bit here. And yeah, without teeth, by the way, he will look uh, pretty bad. He will look very uh, dumb. So be careful. I'll have to smooth also here those areas because the end of the mask usually especially if you move a little bit more than you have to. The end of the mask usually will make some issues. That's why we have to go there and re-sculpt it, re -smooth it, always. Always when we make movements or pose, either to the face or to the body, of a character in Blender or ZBrush, we need to go and re-sculpt 
in order to maintain a nice model. Otherwise, if you don't resculpt, usually you will get to something which is uh, beginners to intermediate model, which you don't obviously want. You want to have a nice model. So we have this, of course, uh, lip, uh, not lips, but tongue will be nice if I had, but I don't have, so but it's cool. This is uh, the what you need to open the mouth in a 3D software. So masking the lower jaw, and I told you what you need to do and what you have to be careful for. That's it, of course. Now, be, be sure to like yourself and love yourself even. Love everybody around you, even people you don't know. Make sure you love them because uh, probably some of them, which are the worst, they were not loved that much. That's why they need that. And uh, of course, like and subscribe. That's what uh, is this is all about, <laughs> probably. And uh, yeah, thank you very much for watching. This was a short video, but this was just to show you a quick way and the normal way that I'm using to open a mouth of a character in Blender in this case, but in ZBrush it's basically the same. So yeah, bye for now and see you in the next video. Like everybody says.